To refresh the contents of an update panel control, an update must be triggered. This is done by using the Triggers property of the Update Panel Control. To begin this lesson, open the Stable Base project from your Sample Files folder. And open default.aspx in Design View. Now you're going to set the Triggers property of your Update Panel Control. First, select the Update Panel Control. If you have difficulty doing this, click the drop-down menu in the Properties window, and select Update Panel News. Now click the Triggers property, and click its Browse icon. The Update Panel Trigger Collection Editor dialog appears. Click the Add button to add a new trigger. Now set the Control ID property of the new trigger to Button Update News. Then set the Event Name property of the new trigger to Click. And click OK. Your Update Panel Control is now complete. When the Update News button is clicked, the entire page will not be refreshed. Only the content inside the Update Panel Control will be updated using AJAX. In most situations, the Update Panel and Script Manager Control are all that you will need to add AJAX functionality to your pages. If your requirements are very complex, however, you may run into problems. Complex c -sharp code sometimes causes errors when used with the Update Panel and Script Manager controls. The code that is created by the Update Panel and Script Manager controls is also very generic, and is unlikely to be very efficient. If your requirements go beyond the limitations of the Update Panel control, you can write your own JavaScript code. You will learn how to do this later in this session. Test your new AJAX functionality now by viewing default.aspx in your web browser. When the page loads, open the News Admin page in a new browser tab. To do this in Internet Explorer, First, move your mouse cursor over Admin on the navigation bar, then right-click News, and click Open in New Tab from the shortcut menu. Now in the text box on the Admin News page, type Our News Page now has AJAX functionality, and click Add News Item. Now return to your original browser tab that contains default.aspx, and click Update News. The news items are updated without refreshing the page. To achieve this, the Update Panel and Script Manager controls modified the Button Update News Click Event Handler to emulate a web service by returning SOAP-compliant XML. When the button was clicked, some JavaScript code called the Button Update News Click Web method and received the SOAP XML data. The returned values were then displayed inside the Update Panel Control. It's important to note that this functionality is completely unrelated to the web service that you created in Lesson 9.1. The Update Panel and Script Manager controls emulate the functionality of web services 
but do not work with existing web services by default. You may still be having some difficulty figuring out how the Script Manager, Update Panel, Label News and Button Update News controls work together to implement AJAX using SOAP-enabled methods. It really is a very complex process, and one that most professional programmers I have worked with couldn't even begin to explain to you. In most situations, the Update Panel and Script Manager controls are all that you will need to add AJAX functionality to your pages. For this reason, many programmers have given up on understanding the inner workings of AJAX, with the justification that it just works. Later in this session, you will further explore the inner workings of the JavaScript code that ASP.NET uses to implement AJAX. You will then be equipped to completely understand how Visual Studio has turned an incredibly complex coding task into just a few clicks of the mouse. Close your web browser now, and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 9.4 Add Triggers to an Update Panel Control.